Hi, this is Kerry R. Tech with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Thursday, July 25th, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I just want to talk 30 seconds about the fact that this 203.83 descending one-year channel top that we settled above a month ago, it's actually 202.89 on the daily chart. If you want to squeeze 203.83 in there as a minor point, you have my blessing. Just with presently heightened volatility, I want to give the market plenty of room to breathe and test the same exact formation, but on the daily chart at 202.89. Uh, this is an area that can contain selling uh, quite possibly through the rest of the year. From here, we can round up. I don't see a V-shaped rally out of here, but we could spend a week or two down here before rounding back up and then uh, quite possibly reaching 328.12 by the end of the year. But that's looking increasingly unlikely, at least in terms of the time horizon, not so much the objective itself. So 203.83 is 202.89 on the daily chart. And I can show here um, this, uh, there, there we have it. We gapped, obviously, below the 243.01, rising one-third speed line. And um, that has set up 202.89 as a one- to two-week objective. Um, and in fact, if you're looking at this uh, formation here, let me go back to this. This is what I think is the big picture. Now, I'm going to talk about 210.69 in a moment uh, because we're just above it right now. But I really think given the present volatility, the gap below this congestion, zone. I do think the writing is on the wall. This market wants to test the 190.98 to 202.89 region, uh, possibly today. Uh, but over the next, uh, I'd say by the end of next week anyway. And, you know, with regard to speed line analysis, when you close below the rising one-third speed line, that is 243.01, your objective becomes the rising two-third speed line, 190.98. Now, it doesn't always play out that way. You can't, I don't think you can be that simplified uh, in your approach. I mean, you you can, but, you know, here's an example. We've got a rising channel bottom coming up now that is about four months in the making at 210.69. And I've been mentioning how this area was our four-star support as it converged with 202.89, but I'm going to lighten up on that also given the present volatility. 210.69, still a very day tradable level. And yes, we could bottom them out here into next week and round back up to the 243.01 speed line. Uh, with present volatility, this could be a three to five day pop to the upside. Um, but 210.69, I'm just going to call it a good day trade level. If you're looking to buy the market below present price levels, this is your next test. Now, given what played out on Wednesday, we could conceivably gap below 210.69, although I don't think that is likely, um, but we um, we could break 210.69. And if we do break 210.69 today, I do see by the closing bell a very real possibility of testing 202.89. And 202.89 is uh, the start of a narrowing zone of long-term support down to 190.98. This area all converges by August 7th. It can absorb selling through the third quarter and even into later year. And from here, as I said, once we test this area, we could consolidate for a while for a spell, maybe three to five days before a presumably then turning higher. And we'll be obviously looking for the buy signals as we come off of this support area. And needless to say, closing below 190.98 would be a significant sell signal event as we move through August and into September. And I'll cover that uh, properly, of course, but we're not going to do that uh, today. Uh, but what is possible is uh, 202.89 if we break or open below 210.69. Until then, 210.69 is a respectable support level. If we didn't have all the, the speed lines and the long-term channel top below the market, you know, when we longer-term support levels sort of draw the market to them like a magnet. 
210.69 is not a long-term support, more mid-term. So it is more susceptible to violation. And given what's played out here over the last 24 hours, I think we should allow that possibility. But nonetheless, I'm not trying to dissuade day traders. If you're a day trader, an aggressive day trader, or a day trader looking for the trade of the day, it really is 210.69 in the present vicinity. And working our way up, uh, we do have, where is it? Uh, here we are. Uh, we do have a newly formed descending one-third speed line at 229.28, and that is up here. We could see that level today, um, opening unchanged or higher on the day. We could make our way up. We also have 222.64, uh, and I'll, please forgive me. I forget what that is, and it's not shown anywhere on our charts. It can contain intraday buying pressures. If we push through 222.64, 229.28 is likely today. This newly formed descending one-third speed line can contain daily buying pressures, and if we close above 229.28, we have a good low for the week. We should, within three to five days, push into this zone of 243.01, the long-term speed line, and 251.16, this newly formed descending channel top, uh, which is based in part on yesterday's low. So uh, closing above 229.28, no good reason to be short Tesla. If you're a three to five day swing trader, you're then anticipating a really kind of the mid to upper 240s within three to five days where we could top out on a weekly basis and have settled above would set up a meaningful uh, rally as we move into later August. But I'm not, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself just yet. If I were looking at two levels of trade today, it's buying 210.69 and selling 229.28. And if we close above 229.28, and if you're short, reverse, go long uh, for the next few days into the upper 240s. Now for the downside, once again, I will remind you that if we break 210.69, this 202.89 long-term channel top is in reach. And that looks more like this on the daily chart. So that would be in reach today if we happen to break below the 210.69 level. Uh, and if so, 202.89 should be considered the start, you know, kind of a, of a gradually narrowing zone, a meaningful support down to 190.98 down here in the far right that can absorb selling through August and perhaps through the rest of the year. And once tested, we can round up nicely from there. Have I covered everything? I think I actually have. Um, please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of our five-day free trial. Um, we put out a stock pick on Parsons uh, Technology. Uh, on Tuesday. You should know that. Uh, or no, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Uh, and there's more to come. We'll, we're doing another on Thursday. You can see it all for free by going to wickedstocks.com. I'll be back tomorrow with Friday's Tesla and you have a great day.